Hey guys, welcome back to M6 Trains. As you have probably seen or heard the rumors, Lionel has acquired the triplex tooling from MTH. Well, they actually acquired it a while back now, a couple years ago, and it is going to be the next Vision Line locomotive in 2024. Now, I didn't want to believe this. I was hoping it wouldn't be true because when MTH announced that they sold some toolings. I was hoping and praying that this was not one of them, but unfortunately, now as we all know, the triplex, the triplex tooling has been sold, and that makes me very upset, and I'm going to explain to you why, and why I think the new Lionel Vision Line triplex is going to suck. So a little bit of backstory before I begin. The Triplex has been one of my bucket list engines that I just had to have one day. Ever since I was a little kid and I saw it for the first time, I saw it at one of our train club shows and one of the members had it and I just immediately fell in love with it when I first saw it and I knew I had to have one. Just from the gorgeous Russian iron blue that you see here to its size, the detail, and of course the three drivers which just looks crazy um, I just had knew I had to have one one day and I was always hoping it would come in a purple box but as we all know now Lionel has acquired this tooling from MTH which disappoints me and I will to be fair I am kind of a little bit of an MTH fanboy but I just think that in my opinion MTH is a little bit better in certain departments um, and I was just hoping that I could get one brand new from MTH, but obviously that's not true. And now the only way to get a new triplex will be through Lionel and it'll be a vision line engine. And in my opinion, I don't think it really is a vision line engine in my opinion. So here's why the first feature, and this is a new feature, apparently the tender here, the, the last set of drivers is going to have tender wheel slip, which I'll admit that is kind of cool. That is a new feature for the Vision Line engines. It is pretty cool, but it's not really something that, in my opinion, blows me away. I mean, I don't think any of you guys, or I, I definitely don't, but I don't know if you guys pretend to have wheel slip. I mean, the sounds are cool, but I don't know if seeing it and doing it actually is something I would want to do. I don't know how you guys feel about that or not, but uh, my other question is, wouldn't that maybe over time damage the track or your wheels, or if the rear or if the rear drivers do have traction tires, wouldn't those tires get kind of chewed up? I mean, I could be wrong, but that's just a concern of mine. Um, you know, it's cool, but was it something real we asked for? Not really. Um, I mean, maybe you guys like that. To me, it just doesn't it doesn't make me want to buy this engine even more. I mean, it's cool, but, you know, not $2,400 cool and not a feature that, you know, I have to have. The next feature, which is not really a feature, Lionel has to stop calling it a feature because it's just not, is the four-digit addressing. It's It's something for the software. It's not a vision line feature, you know. Nobody wants that. Lionel has to stop using that as an excuse of a feature because it's not. Nobody nobody cares about this. It's just not necessary. Now we're going to move on to one of my biggest complaints about why I think that this is not a true vision line engine. The only smoke features are going to be your stack steam and whistle steam. Now, with these triplexes, if you're not aware, there is a smoke stack in the rear uh, of the tender, which the smoke would come out from the rear drivers. Um, that is not a new feature. MTH's triplexes had that as well back in the day, so that's not a new feature. Smoke stack, of course, that's standard, been standard for years. They did add whistle steam, which is cool, but every legacy engine 
has whistle. Well, we're app app the app. I can't speak. Pretty much every legacy engine that could fit whistle steam has whistle steam. So that's not a extra or cool feature, especially for a vision line engine. And if MTH still had this tooling, they would have put in whistle steam anyway. So really, regardless, this thing would have whistle steam going further in the future. So that is really not a extra uh, vision line feature. So I'm sorry, that's just not cool. Um, and it's just really disappointing when there are no other steam features. There's no pop-up valve steam. There's no cylinder steam or anything like that. You just get your stack steam and your whistle steam, which like I said, would have came on either an MTH or Lionel triplex, you know, going further with, you know, because whistle steam really now is a standard feature for all high-end steam engines. So that does not make it, in my opinion, any much more closer to a vision line engine. Next up, Lionel is adding the swinging bell to this, which I'll admit is cool. I think the swinging bell is a neat feature, but I don't think just because it has this makes this a vision line engine. Lionel recently put the swinging bell in the little 060 switchers that they recently produced. They are putting it in the legacy uh, Russian decapods. And they've put it in a couple other legacy engines that have came out in the past. So it's a kind of common feature. It doesn't make it any... I mean, it's a, it's a cool feature, I'll, I'll say that. But it doesn't make this more of a vision line engine, if that makes sense. Because you can get this feature on regular legacy engines. So... To me, this just doesn't make it even more of a vision line engine at all. The next thing I want to talk about of why I think this is going to be a flop is the color. Now, obviously, we don't truly know the exact Russian iron blue color because obviously back then there weren't any colored photographs. So really nobody truly knows what Russian iron blue looks like, I guess. Now, I love the Russian Iron Blue that MTH has used on their triplexes for all the runs they've done. And just looking at the Lionel version, the color is different and it is a lot darker. And knowing Lionel with their track history of paint, it's probably going to be wrong. Uh, we actually do know the color that Lionel is using for the Russian Iron Blue. They recently used it on the Camelback. And in my opinion, it is just not right. It just looks kind of dull. It doesn't look like the Russian Iron Blue that the MTH used. Now, obviously, like I said, we don't truly know what the right color was. But for me, I love that MTH color. You know, it's most likely right knowing, you know, MTH usually nails it every time with color. So... I'm going to lean toward that MTH had it right. And I just think it's a prettier, more metallic blue. I don't think that Lionel is going to get this color right. Who knows? Maybe they'll surprise us. I doubt it. Because like I said, they already have used the paint sample on other engines. It's going to be on the Russian Decapod. It was on the Camelbacks. And it's just not the same blue as what MTH used. Also, speaking of color, we're going to talk about the color of the marker lights. As you all know, in the recent steam engines, Lionel's marker lights have been absolutely ridiculous. They are super bright and they are even brighter than the headlights sometimes and they're just kind of obnoxious. So they're like absolute laser beams of marker lights. And to pay $2,400 for a vision line engine to have absurd marker lights is just not worth it. I don't think it's just worth it at all to me. Now we're going to talk about a couple of things that I do really like about the Vision Line Triplex. One, I love how they added white walls. I am a sucker for white walls. And with all these wheels going on here, I think it looks totally awesome. You know, all of those drivers, the front and rear trucks with the white walls looks beautiful to me. I think Lionel did a great job with that. I hope it comes out good. I don't think MTH has ever added the white walls to their triplexes before. 
but it looks absolutely awesome. I'm glad Lionel did that because it looks really cool. So I'm a big fan of the white walls on the new triplex. The other feature that I really like is that the all the Vision Lines engines have extra speakers in them. And it's no no doubt that Lionel has better speakers and better sound than MTH. They're just louder, better sounds, better quality. So I think with the size of an engine, Lionel's going to put a lot of speakers in this thing, probably three, and it's going to sound like an absolute monster. So that is one of the good things that the new Vision Line model will have going for it. I think it's going to sound incredible. It's going to sound loud. It's going to have, I think, a lot of bass and rumble to it. So I think it'll sound like a beast to go along with its looks. So I do like that for the Triplex. Like I said, I have no problem admitting that Lionel has fantastic sounds and great speakers. So I think it's going to sound amazing. So those are the couple of things that I do like going for this thing. But yeah, this is it, guys. This is the new 2024 Vision Line locomotive, the Triplex. I'm still a little bent out of shape about it. You know, I was really hoping I could get a brand new one from MTH in a purple box. Obviously, like I said, we all know it's going to be a black box now, um, which I'm a little upset about. But, I mean, hey, I guess good for Lionel. This is an awesome model. Um, I just think, in my opinion, with Lionel's issues, I don't think it's going to be worth the price and I don't think the features are going to be worth the price I think it lacks features and I don't think in my opinion that this is a vision line engine I just don't so me personally I'm gonna try and hunt down a used MTH one like I always wanted yes it's not gonna be as cool with the whistle steam and the swinging bell because they are extra features but they're not worth the price in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think. What do you think of the engine? What do you think? Are you going to get one? Um, let me know in the comments below. But I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.